far left celebrities are so upset that Elon Musk wants to help improve the country of the United States and protect free speech that they are leaving the platform of X in droves. Welcome to the Canadian Shield. My name is Sterling. I'm your host. As many of you are no doubt aware, Elon Musk purchased the company formerly known as Twitter and took it private, which of course made everyone on the left worried and freak out. The people that are leaving from Twitter right now are primarily far left uh, celebrities who are just mad at him because he helped Trump during the election. And now Trump has given him a government job looking after uh, federal waste, spending money inappropriately or incorrectly. Of course, this has got them all mad because when they go on Twitter, they're, they're, you know, they're being mocked and ridiculed and they can't go on there and just spout a whole bunch of misinformation. In addition to that, their companies are losing money and losing interest in, in maintaining them. They, uh, like MSNBC and CNBC and the Oprah Winfrey, one of, the, one of her nation, uh, networks is up for sale or they're considering putting it up to, for sale. There's some funny stories in that CNN has let go a whole bunch of its anchors. One of, they kept one who didn't get a raise. He had to maintain his same $20 million salary. And of course they are trying to get attention because they realize that with the, the victory with Donald Trump shows to them that the far left propaganda that they've been cramming down people's throats for 20 years didn't, hasn't taken a hold that all of the people that, are that they were thought they were reaching are not listening and msnbc has a good example the week leading up to the election and the week after the election the ratings the viewership has dropped by 50 percent now they're all going over to this blue sky which i looked at and i can tell you that it's essentially the same thing as twitter except the people that are in it are into heavily into censorship and misinformation. I read some of their postings and they just seem to want to be hating on Elon Musk. And I, I suppose that that's kind of uh, normal, what you could expect from people who are bitter and angry and hostile and who are not practicing what they preach when they're in the driver's seat, when they're winning, they want to tell you that it's all about democracy. And when they've lost, they don't want to accept that it's democracy. All of a sudden, they want to throw a temper tantrum and a fit. Now, I further suspect that many of these people are desperate to get noticed. I mean, we have some some notable ones here. We have uh, Joy Reid, who will scream at Eminem as being culturally inappropriate. Or we have Stephen King, who his entire fortune and fame is based on being able to say whatever he wants like i mean there's a reason that a lot of these fiction stories don't come out of these countries because the government of the government department of let me read if this book is acceptable before we put it on sale shuts it down shuts down that kind of imagination and jamie lee curtis from you know halloween fame and don lemon who already tried to get a job with elon musk and then threw just completely threw it out of the window for a couple of likes. These are some of the people that are leaving. I saw a newspaper, The Guardian, saying that it was no longer going to post anything under its own uh, label. I guess that means that it's not going to stop its reporters. I mean, it's a, it's like 300 million people, and it's a big reach. <coughs> not to mention the idea that it is a platform that gets larger every day. What I like about the the meltdown of the media right now is they're all like, oh, everybody is, there's a massive exodus from Twitter, formerly known as X, and they're all going over to Blue Sky, and they're all going over to uh, the one on Meta, which I can't remember the name of it, Threads, I think it's called. What they want, the articles will try to make you believe that they're, the people are shutting down their Twitter and just going over there, right? And like Threads, an example, I'm pretty sure you, just by having a Facebook page that just fires up, you have to turn it off. And there's going to be plenty of people who are going to have all three running. But what's the difference going to be? What I think the re big largest reason that they are all trying to flood X, like try, try to leave it, is because when they get over there, their propaganda is no longer taking hold. They realize that they, they gave this full court press to get this woman elected. 
they thought this full court press was going to prove to the world that everybody wants to be on the far left and then nothing could be further from the truth. And they can't handle it. And they want to make it all about different uh, groups, right? But the, the group that they, they ignore is the, the, the main group that people are uh, in is freedom of speech. People want to have the right to complain when people use bathrooms they don't agree with it. People want to have the right to complain when people cross the border. People want to have the right to complain, period. And those on the far left will try to, you know, what think of all the names they called everybody over the years. Every time you said something that they didn't agree with, they got this gigantic mechanism of the corporations behind them to try and shove it down everybody's throat and to tamp it down and to make anybody who disagreed with them some sort of a villain. Well, now many of the corporations are going to be flipping the script. Many of them are going to be running the other way, right? They're going to be running. Corporations will go where the money is and they don't want to lose their jobs. And when they see that their bottom line is no good, when people look and the shareholders have a look and they say that, you know, you've tried this ideology and for 10 years you've lost money. We want our money back. That uh, some of the um, far left is not leaving Twitter, but they have made some changes like they've re- they've taken that... Uh, Cortez lady, she's taking the she, her, like her pronouns out. That's happening quite a bit. A lot of people are taking the pronouns down. What I know, though, is that you can't just say whatever you want on X. I, I have p- people that get in a lot of arguments and they get banned for saying things. They, they go over the line and then they pop up and they're like, oh, I've been in, you know, I've just finished my suspension on X. And, you know, you can't call people names. You're not allowed to do those kinds of things. That's not what free speech is. But to have a celebrity like uh, Joy Reid try and tell that people are bad because they don't agree with her and that they should be fired or they should be, that's absurd. That is ridiculous. And that's just, uh, you know, nothing, nothing but what the terrorists do, really. What I find funny, though, is that they want make you believe that all of these people are flying over to Blue Sky and they're somehow leaving behind X, right? that they're not going to have both <laughs> both of the platforms open on their phone whenever they feel like it. Now, I suspect that many of these people who exercised free speech to get where they are and then decided that they hated free speech will quietly tiptoe back to the platform. I think that their biggest thing, they're all saying, oh, it's toxic. But reality, the reality is, is that it's just not far left. So when they put up some propaganda, people are like, no, I don't believe you. Let me fact check that for you. And because they don't have the control over the fact checker, because it's not a corporation of a buddy of theirs that they can call. It's just a person who's looking it up. They can't handle it. They simply cannot handle it. I was looking when you go on Blue Sky, it'll show up on the, like, it'll let you read, you know, whatever it is, 20 or 30 of whatever happens to be recent. It's pretty extreme over there. There is a lot of hostility from what I could read. Now, that could be that it's selected and put up there for the algorithm just so that the people on Blue Sky can cater to a certain demographic. I don't know necessarily. I, I, I do understand that. The reason these celebrities are, are throwing a hissy fit, though, is because they didn't win. There's even a, the deputy leader of the NDP in Alberta has decided that she's going to take out her Twitter. What's also really funny to me is that they go through all of this big hoopla about how they're changing, you know, they're moving, they're deleting their accounts. Like, they're the ones doing it, right? Like, they're on their phone, you know, like they don't have somebody hired to do that. Like they don't have a media consultant, some person who just sits in the corner and does nothing but tweet all day long. It's really funny to watch the far left collapse. And I, I have no sympathy for them whatsoever. None. They have been tyrants. And like all tyrants, I will revel in their collapse. They have been hateful and angry and hostile and they have been hypocritical. And the fact that they can't handle the loss only supports that. The fact that they walk onto the platform of X and try to make fun of the guy who bought it with cash is ridiculous in my mind. But they can't withstand the not getting their own way. I mean, Stephen King, his whole library is based on 
I mean, have you ever read The Stand? There's some pretty shocking things in there. Never mind some of the the other stuff. But he throws a hissy fit and leaves anyway, or whoever he hires to look after his Twitter account, and he just sends him, you know, an email or something like that. Probably calls him from his phone. I keep hoping that we'll hear a really big one, like, you know, Barack Obama left or something. I, I, I say, see you later. Like, I put up a post from that NSYNC, you know, bye, bye, bye. I, I got no, I don't care. Go on. See ya. If you can't handle the fact that you lost because your actions are exactly exemplified in the behavior that you're going for right now. I mean, the reasons that you lost is because you cannot open dialogue with anybody that doesn't agree with you. And personally, that makes me glad that I won't necessarily have to interact with you. Now, of course, there's all sorts of mechanisms that they could have employed. They could block, they can silence, they can do all kinds of things. But what they did do, they didn't do any of that. What they did do was make this big press release about how they're leaving. And then they're just going over there and they're watching the ticker to see how many people followed them. How many people are coming over with them? The one thing they all have in common is an unmitigated desire to be the center of attention to be liked, to get to be celebrity, right? So I will be keeping an eye on this. All right, I'm going to wrap here. I want to thank you for listening. I'll talk to you next time.